This video is all about workflow automations for real estate agents. These automations are going to help real estate agents to go to save time, nurture clients, and close more deals. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how real estate agents can automate lead qualifications by using AI automations by categorize prospects based on their intent and budget so the real estate agents can focus on the most serious buyers. And then we're also going to take a look at property recommendations where we can rely on AI automations to automatically match leads that fits their preference and keeping the clients engaged without searching properties manually. And lastly, we're also going to send follow-ups by keeping prospects engaged with personalized emails and reminders. Now before we start, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. And if you have any questions or ideas on any future content that you want me to make, please feel free to comment down below. All right, so here we have two workflows. One workflow is the lead qualification workflow, where we have a prospect fill out a form about the properties that they're looking for. We're gonna use a lead qualification AI to basically identify if this prospect is high level, medium level, or low level lead based on the scoring criteria that we define inside of the prompt. And then we're going to pass this data into an AI lead score to identify the score. And then we're going to insert this data onto our CRM, or in this case, a Google Sheets. And we also have another workflow, which is an AI powered property recommendation. So what happened is when a lead is captured or a new lead entered onto our Google Sheets, for example, this is the CRM where we collect all the leads or prospects that we entered from the previous workflow. And you can see here that we have name, email, city, province, all the important informations, what these prospects are looking for for their next home. So once we have a new lead captured into our CRM or in this case, Google Sheets, we're going to trigger this workflow. So we're going to first fetch data using a SQL agent to fetch data from MLS or Zillow or other property listing database to find the relevant properties based on the prospect's preference. We're going to extract the right property informations and craft the emails that we can send to the prospect. So let me walk you through how this workflow is going to work. So first we have a form and this is where we, the prospect is going to trigger the workflow. So here we're just going to put some dummy data for name, email, and preferred city and preferred province. Then we also have the minimum budget and the maximum budgets. Below here we also have number of bedrooms. So I'm just going to put two, two bathroom and two bedrooms and property type. We're just going to put a part or condo here I'm just gonna say condo and then we're gonna say yes for the garage and then the year built and after so so we're just gonna say 2014 for example and the now the timeline here I'm just gonna put one to three months so this prospect is looking for properties that are very urgent mortgage approval here we're just gonna say yes so now we're gonna submit this form and now you can see the form has been submitted so after you can see that it has been triggered as workflow and what happened is you can see the workflow has executed successful and we can also step into this. So for the lead qualification AI, you can see that we have the form data that's being passed from the form submission. And this is the prompt that I wrote to rank the prospect based on high score, medium score, and low score. Depends on the criteria that we give. So for example, if someone has a budget that's above 500K or looking for two, at least two bedroom, two bathrooms, or it could be something like they're pre-approved for mortgage. And the timeline is one to three months, which this prospect has a higher priority when it, when it comes to looking for new properties, right? And then we also have medium score or someone who's just browsing around. But you can see that with this workflow, we can be able to categorize the prospects by different categories. And after we categorize them, we can prioritize which leads that we want to focus first for real estate agents. And of course, those criteria we can always change and manipulate and depends on what we value for the high score leads. And once we have the results, you can see the output here is a high score lead because you can clearly see that this person has proof for the mortgage as well as the timeline is one to three months and the budget is within the high score lead range. So then once we have the data, we can then just insert the data onto the Google Sheets. And if we were to look at Google Sheets, you can see that we have a new row of records added along with the score of the lead. Then we can be able to identify the high priority and low priority prospects. Now the other workflow we have is when a new prospect is being captured or added onto the Google Sheets, we're also going to send the property recommendations based on the prospect property preference. And just to show you the end result, and then you can see here that we have a draft that we created from the workflow. Um, and here for this draft, we have the property details about the address, about the price. And then we also have the location on where they are looking to find their next property, as well as the prospect email. And you can see that real estate agents can use this to automate this process. Instead of finding the properties that they're looking for, they can basically use a form. And once the form is being triggered, the AI is, is going to recommend the right properties for this prospect and the real estate agent here can be able to just check their gmail or email box for the drafts that the ai has created and be able to send those emails after they have read it and just to show you how the workflow is going to work i'm just going to click on test workflow and here you can see we have a new lead being triggered 
and it's going to pass the data for the new lead from the Google Sheets to the MLS property finder. And once the SQL agents find the relevant property based on the prospect's preference, and if you were to step into this, you can see that for the MLS property finder, it's going to look through to the database to find the relevant properties. And once the property has been found, we're going to return the output and pass the output to the property info extractor, which in this case, we're taking the text from the SQL agents and we're going to extract the important information like the property address, the price, the bedrooms, the bathrooms that you're built. And we're going to take this information to on the template that we use. So here's the template. So we have the name for the prospect, which is Jack. And then we are also going to put the properties that we found for this prospect. And once we find those informations, if we were to look at our draft, you can see if we were to refresh, you can see we have a new draft created, which is exactly the same as what we just talked about. All right, so that's pretty much the workflow demo. So now I wanna focus on is the SQL agents. So here you can see I'm using a SQL agents, which I'm basically connecting with the SQL database. And I'm trying to mimic the MLS uh, database here. And you can see we have the address, city, province, all the property information is here. And a lot of people ask me how I connect the SQL agent with the SQL database. So here, um, if we were to look at the recommendations for the SQL agents for this Postgres database. So basically for my database, I use the transaction puller to fill the connections for the SQL database on my SQL agents. And for the credentials for Postgres, I just click on edit and be able to add my transaction puller uh, details there. But of course you can always change this to something else. So for example, one way you can do this is using a Zillow Explorer or like a third party API. And there's a free trial for this API that you can be able to use. For example, this API can allow us to give a prompt. For example, I want a home with two bedrooms and one to three bathroom under this much amount in this city. And this will basically use a semantic search will basically automatically fill the appropriate parameters based on what we pass to the API. And once we pass the API, uh, we can be able to get the data and be able to retrieve the relevant properties for this client. So that's one way we can do about this. I have tried with this approach, but for using a platform like Appify, it's kind of like running a scraper, running a job, and you have to constantly check to see if that job has succeeded. It's unlike we have to make an API call to basically fetch the data directly. You kind of have to first trigger the API uh, to run the job. We're going to continue to check. And once the job has been completed, then we can be able to fetch the data. So there's multiple API calls that we have to make by using an Appify tool. But what we can also do is uh, we can also use the API directly from Zillow. So Zillow has this API uh, that we can call to get information about the agent, about the MLS listings. Here we can see that data from the transactions or the rentals or the mortgage informations. So there's um, a lot of things that we can use in this documentation that's provided by Zillow. And by the way, for the workflow that I demonstrate in this video, which I uploaded onto my GitHub repository. So you can click on one of those uh, GitHub JSON file and be able to copy this onto the NAN workflow on your own and be able to play around with this.